you know, I've noticed a trend around YouTube lately, specifically in the YouTube Christian community, but this happened in the YouTube Atheist community recently, too. I've even talked about it a little bit before. Let me just lay this out for everybody watching this video, because I have a question, you know, that I just, I gotta get out there, and this is so distressing to me. Lately, people have been sharing their stories on YouTube. Um, stories about loved ones that have been hurt or killed or raped and all of this. And, and these aren't one of the kind videos. People talk about these issues all the time. And that's fine. But lately, I, I, I've noticed something. Right, let, me, let me break this down. Uh, th there's been a little uh, feud going on in, in the YouTube Christian community. Which, normally, I, I'm incredibly entertained by all of that. I mean, I, I get a laugh out of it most of the time. Now, I know I did a video about Pastor George C. yesterday. Um, I think it was yesterday. I don't keep track anymore. Um, but I, I watched another video of his, and his wife is sharing a tragic story. Now... I, I'm not here to fucking crack jokes about anybody. Uh, I, I'm not here to um, try to make comedy out of a tragic situation that someone went through. But the basic idea of the video is um, that this woman, George's wife, had gone through some difficult shit and, and she was sharing the story. And that's cool. But why was she sharing the story? Why? Why? To make another YouTube Christian look bad for using the word rape in a video title. That was the motivation behind the video. It was obvious. Okay, to me anyway. To anyone with a brain, that, that was the reason the video was made. To me, this all seems really fucking sleazy. Now, I've talked about this subject before. Um, you know, somebody told me they were disappointed when I, I brought, you know, someone's child into the mix and all that. But what what is this? Does anybody else see this, what's going on here? If you want to share, like, some sort of struggle that you've been through in your life, if you want to talk about a tragic situation that you've been in, something horrible, you want to share that story, shouldn't you share that story to try to help other people or to, I mean, I don't know, serve some sort of function other than trying to make another person look like a bad or evil person? Because at that point, when you're, I'll, I'll just come out and say it, the video I'm referring to, and I'll link it over here, was directed to Violet Kitty, who a lot of you are familiar with, I guess. I don't know. She'd used the word rape in her video's title. And so Pastor George did these videos over here that I'll also link. But my question here is in all of this, if you're going to share a story like that, Shouldn't the motivation for sharing that story be a little bit better than I, I just want to make this other person look terrible? You know, uh, so many people have done this. I, I mean, what what is that? Why why would you do that? You know, I mentioned the thing with Galen. I, I mentioned the thing with Yoke Up. I, I mentioned, and now I'm talking about this Pastor George guy. Why do you share these stories that, that are so near and they mean so much to you? You know, they're supposed to be the things in your life that are almost fucking sacred and, and you just use them to like, I don't know, turn an audience to, against another person? What does that really say about you? So anyway, I, I saw this video that Caroline did. 
concerning the videos, and I'll link that video to over here. But it went a little something like this. Violet Kitty was taken out of context. She's a load of bull. Where's the love and compassion from you people? Out to that woman and to George. You know, you're, you're all, you make me sick. You're a bunch of hypocrites and a bunch of lies. When it gets too hot, you run out of the kitchen. You know, here's a woman who poured her heart out, and there's a one of y'all in those videos saying, you know, Bonnie, I, you know, I'm so sorry that you went through that. It's a horrible thing. Javen was Javen is wrong for doing what he did, using rape that way, and Violet Kitty is wrong for using rape the way she used it. And they should apologize. Because let me tell you something, every woman that's, that's been raped like Bonnie has, it, their, their lives have been hell. Okay? And I, I, I you know, you all just make me sick. You make me sick, you're a bunch of hypocrites, and you're a bunch of liars, and there's nothing Christ-like about any of you. You know, all we hear on George's video is crickets, because nobody's there. Jeff is there, another brother Mark's there, Mackie was there, um, and a couple of few other people. Genesis was there, Gear Up and Single Chicken. Those are people who have compassion. You people don't have any compassion. Paula, you're another one. Where are you people? You make me sick. You make me sick. Now I'm watching Caroline's video, and I'm thinking, you know, she's going on and on about, where are you people? Where's your compassion? Why aren't you leaving comments? I'm really sorry you had to go through that. That I'm so sorry that you had to endure that pain. Where are you people? You people are hypocrites. You people make me sick. You people are not Christ-like. And I'm watching this video, and I'm thinking to myself, Caroline, that's what you wanted. That's the reaction that you wanted from these people. And I'd hate to say that that's the reaction that Pastor George wanted too. He wanted those crickets. Also, one of you could stand by and chastise the fuck out of these people for not being compassionate enough. There's a motive here. You're just trying to make other people look bad. And I I'm sorry, guys, you, you know, Yoka, Caroline, George, you spend your time dragging these fucking people through the dirt. And what do you expect? You expect them to come along and give you a hug when you need it? And when they don't come along and give you a hug and show a little compassion, you point the finger and say, you're all a bunch of hypocrites, you have no compassion? What is that shit? If you kick the dog enough times, sooner or later the dog is going to fucking bite, or it's going to run away. I find that the whole display disgusting. I do. And I know a woman that's been raped. And you're going to want to be very careful before you call me a liar about that. Very careful. But I can't imagine getting on camera and sharing that story. And I don't blame Bonnie, I guess is her name. I don't blame her for, for taking part in this because I, I don't think she meant to. But I think you all wanted those crickets. You all share these fucking stories to make other people look bad. And to me, that's disgusting. That's fucking sickening. That's gross. And what do you expect? These people that you treat like shit, you drag their names to the fucking dirt, and you expect them to be there for you when you need a little compassion and not even when you actually need it when you stage all of this shit so that they can ignore you like you expect a normal person to do and then point the finger at them when, when they do exactly what you know they're gonna fucking do it's all about who's more Christ-like 
That's the, the point you're trying to make. You people really need to cut it the fuck out because if anyone's disgusting, it, it, it's, it's you, Caroline. It, it, it's you, Yoke Up. Taking the fucking opportunity, you know, just to point the finger at somebody else. 